Come up here for a Q&A real quick. Let's have a, let's have a seat. The time or two. Uh, every night. <laughs> so um, earlier we were uh, videoing your yeah. story brand yeah. demo video. Uh, you got it down, man. Who's helped you craft your story and put that together? And I've kind of done that myself. And then one of my dear friends is Lisa Gibbons, Emmy Award-winning TV host. And I've helped her a lot with stuff, and she's been to my events. And, and I've learned a lot from just being around people who know what they're doing you know, watching them observing asking them for their strategies or advice and how'd you do this how'd you do that mm -hmm. lisa's been great joe theisman's been phenomenal he was a football commentator for years you know so uh yeah a variety of people hundreds of people with your brand tell us about your process of building your brand and when you started to get really serious about that yeah so uh, i was doing it on the side teaching these seminars on the side because yeah, I was speaking a lot. I was actually doing the stuff. Um, and I didn't have time to, I don't have time to teach these seminars. I'm out here doing the stuff. And uh, when I saw people start getting results from taking the information, that, that juiced me up. Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, oh, wow, man, I'm, I think I'm really, like, helping people. So it was at that point that I said, maybe I ought to, like, look into maybe trying to market this thing and try to establish this as a brand in the marketplace. And, do the right positioning and packaging and the right presentation of it and have everything match and fold, you know, match, match and, uh, and work together. Mm -hmm. But that's when it happens, when I started noticing some people were actually getting results with the stuff. Yeah. So what was your philosophy in packaging and that and putting together and branding that and putting the story out there and everything? Yeah. So uh, let, me, let me tell you one of my, my key little secrets. I try to do this with all my clients. So I call it the law of the category. If you cannot be first in a category, let's take these squares. Can't be first in a category. You got to step your foot outside and create your own square where only it's you. Okay? So, like folks that tell me, oh, I'm a life coach. I'm like, oh, don't tell me you're a life coach. Average life coach in America made $10,800 last year, according to their stats. There's a gazillion life coaches. That, why do you want to label yourself as a commodity? So let's figure out what I call your unique and right positioning so we can create your own square. And that's how we're going to package you and present you. Are you doing life coaching? Yeah. But we're not going to label and brand you as a life coach. We're going to create your own category, your own square. And that's, that's what I think is one of the most important things. So that's what I did. Yeah. That's how I looked at all these speaker trainings out there. And they're talking about monetize your message and, you know, impact and all this and i said i'm going the opposite i'm going to say forget all that stuff let me show you how to make big money no one was saying that and remember my um i was telling you earlier my students started calling me that they were like hey man you teach me how to make big money as a speaker i was like oh that kind of rings right and then somebody else would say you uh you're like the big money speaker and they didn't talk to each other it was just independent. And my litmus test is if three people say it to you independently of each other, meaning they didn't all get together, like just randomly come to you, you better listen because there's probably about 300 that aren't saying it. Right. And so my litmus test, if I hear it three times, then I better look into this. And so I heard it three, four, five times, and I'm like, you know what, I think I'm going to just do this. I just listen to my customer. Nice. I didn't like sit down and try to you know, have pink balls of light from the universe and all this, map it out. No, I was like, oh, he said it, she said it, he said it. Nah, all right, I'm going to go with that. Yeah, I love that. And, and that's that's our ideology is let's be next gen. Let's be unique. Let's mm. be different. Let's set ourselves out from what yeah. everyone else is doing. Who's heard the philosophy of the red ocean versus the blue ocean? Yeah. Have you have you heard that before? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to explain that to him? Yeah. So you, you don't want to be – it's basically what we covered here, right? You don't want to be in a blue ocean where there's a whole bunch of folks, right? You want to, like, have your own – Red ocean, you want to be unique. You want to have your own category. You want to. I think you got it backwards. Blue, uh, you no, said. Working on an hour and a half. Yeah. Of sleep. <laughs> it's okay. You don't want to be in the red ocean, you want to be in the blue ocean. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Yeah. You don't want to be a commodity. Not like unless that's a different philosophy. I was like, is this well, a different I always philosophy? Put everything off. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you learn well, grasshopper. That's, that's, that's <laughs> Did I actually say it backwards? Yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, really. I was I was wondering, is he gonna say I'm you gotta my, kill it and the red is I'm on my blood or whatever? So. Yeah, <laughs> love it. Um, yeah, so it's just don't be a commodity. Don't look. If you look like a duck, you talk like a duck, you walk like a duck. You're a duck even if you say you're a horse. Right. So you gotta make yourself different and unique. 
Yeah. Um, when it comes to your presentations, what I've kind of seen is people who do a lot of speaking, they have like their main three presentations that they just do over and over. Like when you're speaking for these companies, do you have the same presentations that you do over and over or do you try to craft one differently each time? So tell us about your thought process whenever you come into a presentation versus maybe when you do your own event. Yeah, this one was different because I sort of just like grabbed a bunch of chunks for y'all because I, I, I thought, okay, this is a... Uh, uh, variety of entrepreneurs, right? Small, intimate things. So let me just kind of tell them a bunch of the ways, like I think like my little nuggets, like I'm always investing in coaching. I don't sell spark plugs, right? You know, I just thought that would be uh, at most helpful for you in the short time I had. When I speak for these companies, look, here's the number one mistake in all marketing in every business, creating a product or service first and then trying to find somebody to buy it. No, easiest thing is find out what they're already giving money for and buying and then package your stuff to match what they already want. So in speaking, I tell speakers this all the time. If you're going to go after corporate fee paid speaking, right, there are different topics they book than if you're going to go after colleges and universities. And there are different topics that they book if you're going to go after kids groups. Okay, and those are the three, by the way, primary fee paid speaking markets. Corporations and associations, colleges, universities, and uh, K through 12, the education market. Okay, so the best thing to do is to find out what topics they're already booking, and then take your information and package it into what they're booking. So let me just kind of just give a little yeah, teaching. Yeah, of course. So in the corporate and uh, association speaking world, there are three main themes of conferences. So corporate conferences, there are three main themes. There is a success or motivation theme, succeeding to new heights this year. That's the theme of our conference, our convention. Or the second one could be a leadership theme, leading to the new summit. And then the third is a sales theme. Now there are others like change and customer service, but the main three that are booked the majority of the time are under those themes, not topics, themes, right? Selling in the new world. That's the theme of this year's convention, right? So, <clears throat> the topics that they book under those themes more than any are these. Success, motivation, inspiration, peak performance, customer service, team building, teamwork, leadership, sales, future trends, change, or transition, okay, and I can go on and on. So there's, there's like, that's like the 90 percentile of what they book. So if I take two words that I know they book, two topics, success, oh, attitude is one of them also, success, and then I take the word attitude, and I make my title, success starts with attitude, they look at my title and go, this would be perfect for our success theme. And then if I take two words and I do great leadership starts with attitude, oh, this will be perfect for our leadership conference theme. And then I take selling more starts with attitude, oh, this topic would be perfect for our sales convention. See, I fit what they're already buying and booking. Okay, there's a guy one time, he, um, he, uh, he had this topic, you were born an original, don't live like a copy. Sounds good, right? So uh, he was flying into Vegas. He met me at the airport, came up to my house. I was going to consult for him. It was a coaching plan. And he would always joke with me for like three or four years. Success starts with attitude. That's real original. Ooh, deep, deep. You know, just joking, like, yeah, I'm like, so finally this one day, I said, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix his ass for, for good. <laughs> <laughs> so we fly into Vegas, get in my car. We drive up to my house. And I said, uh, hey, John. And I was pulling bags out of my car. I said, uh, I'm going to go in the house and uh, jump in the shower real quick. Just go ahead and put your bags in and get some food out of the fridge or what have you, and then I'll be out in a minute. But what he didn't know was I was gone for about seven or eight days speaking at all.